Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another PS5 video. So it looks like we now have full support for 9.xx with K stuff on the PS5, meaning we can jailbreak the PS5 up to firmware 9.60, whereas just a couple of days ago it was 9.00, but now we can jailbreak all the way up to 9.60, and it looks like 10.0 and 10.01 are also getting ported, so they may also be available pretty soon as well, and then you'll be able to jailbreak all the way up to 10.01 with K stuff as well which allows us to run our PS4 fake packages, homebrew applications, and our PS5 game dumps. We have the It's PLK loader here seems to work better now than previously, whereas previously it was better to use the remote Lua loader because it was more stable. As from my tests, it does still seem to be more stable to use the remote Lua loader, but the auto loader is not as unreliable as it used to be. So you can use the auto loader now to automatically run the exploit and load K stuff or ETA hen. On top of that, we also have a public beta going on at the moment for ETA hen. So Lightning Mods has got a public beta set up on the PKG Zone Discord server. There is the ETA hen public test channel that you can join and you can find the latest test builds that you can try on these higher firmwares that include the latest K stuff builds inside so that you can get ETA hen up and running on your 9.x or 10.0 or 10.01 system once it's available. So you can go ahead and download that and give that a try as well. We're also seeing new game releases as well, including The Last of Us Part 1 and Black Myth Wukong, which currently Black Myth Wukong only supports, I think, 9.x and 10.x firmwares right now. So you'd have to be on a 9.x or 10.0 or 10.01 in order to be able to run it. Uh, there isn't a backport available, at least not yet. So of course you can update your console to a specific firmware version. If you're somebody who, you know, is on 8.00 and you want to be able to run all of the latest game releases, you could update to 9.60 or once K stuff supports 10.01, you could update to 10.01. I'll show you guys how to do it, although it is not recommended because it's generally recommended to stay on as low a firmware as possible so that you're more likely to access, you know, future exploits. Uh, are more likely to support your firmware if you stay on an older firmware and we may get backports in the future to run newer games on the older firmwares anyway so that's why it's generally not recommended to update but obviously it's down to personal preference if you want to update or not to access more of the available ps5 game backups that are out there so in order to jailbreak from 8.00 up to 10.01 we have to use the lua exploit which uses one of these japanese games in order to run the jailbreak so you need to have a copy, a physical copy of one of these games. You can get them from places like Play Asia and CD Japan. They have recently been restocked in Play Asia, so a lot of these games are currently available so that you can purchase them and they'll ship them to your country. So that is an option. So I have a physical copy of Hamadashi Creative, which is this game here, installed on my PS5. So for instance, in order to update, there are a couple of websites that you can access. There is, of course, this website here that you can go to and there is also this website here as well. So you can head to either one of these, go to the PS5 system firmware section, and then you can pick any firmware version that you want to download here. Like in my case, I updated to 9.60, only because I have other PS5s on older firmwares that I'm keeping for any future developments, whereas this PS5 I'm updating is a PS5 that I keep on the highest jailbreakable firmware. So that's why I'm updating it to 9.60 here. So if K-Stuff is out for firmware 10.01 by the time you're watching this, then you can simply go ahead and install 10.01. I'm just installing 9.60 because it's not available for 10.01 at the time of recording. So basically you just download the update file, you grab yourself a USB drive that is formatted in XFAT or FAT32 format, you create a folder in the root of the drive called PS5 and uppercase characters. Inside that folder you create another folder called update, also in uppercase characters, and then you copy the system update file inside and rename it to ps5update.pup. You need to make sure that your file explorer settings are set to show file name extensions. Just make sure that is enabled so you can see the full file name. If everything is named correctly, you can just plug that back into your PS5. Disconnect from the internet on the PS5 and remove any game disks from your console. Then just head into the system option and then the system software update section and then tell it to update the system software and then select from a USB drive and it will install the update that's on your USB to get you updated to that specific firmware that you're trying to update to. Again, not something that's recommended 
but something people keep asking me about, which is why I just showed you how to do it right there. So in order to actually get the modified save file on there that allows you to jailbreak, you just need to check to see if you have an activated account by logging out of your profile on the PS5. And then when you go to log back in, you press the options button on one of your profiles. And if you see the option to log in online, busy, appear offline, that means your account is activated. So if you have a profile with an activated account, then you have other options for being able to get the modified save file on. You have the ability to, you know, use the Apollo save tool on a jailbroken PS4 to create the save, or you can use the free Discord save bots like the HTOS Discord server uh, that can decrypt the save file and allow you to replace the save data with the modified one because an activated account on the PS5 has the ability to uh, transfer the save files between a USB drive and the console but for anybody else who doesn't have that option or if you would rather an easier option is to just restore a backup file and the backup file will have the save files on it the only problem is when you restore someone else's backup it does wipe all the stuff that's currently on your console basically resets it so it's best to make your own backup file first copy it somewhere safe on your computer so that you don't end up losing your save files and stuff forever so just as a quick demonstration here, we can download the latest backup file here from Master S or Master S9 version 22.2D. So this version allows you to load payloads directly from a USB. So it's kind of the, the most up-to-date backup at the moment. So we can go ahead and download this. And obviously we want to download the latest version of KStuff. You can download any test builds of ETA Hen from the Discord server as well. And of course you want to download the It's PLK auto loader from the code here download as a zip file. So once we have all of that stuff copied over to our computer here, what we can do is plug in our USB drive. And first of all, we can open up the backup file in 7-zip and extract this PS5 folder to the root of your USB drive. And this is to get the backup file that has the modified save files that we're going to restore on the console so that we can then run the jailbreak. And then we want to take our PS5 auto Lua loader zip file. We open that up. We go into this folder, go into the save data folder, and we grab the PS5 auto loader folder and copy that out to the root of our USB. And then we open up this folder. We can delete this PS5 Lua menu. And then we can simply take our KStuff file and copy it in here. And then all we need to do is simply open up the auto load text file here in Notepad. And then we can delete this Lua menu file and just do kstuff.elf. So just change it to the file name of the payloads that we're loading, in this case, KStuff. And we can go ahead and save it. And we should be good to go there. So with that, we can go ahead and switch back over to our console here and plug that USB drive into our console. So on the PS5, if you're going to restore the backup, you can go to the settings here. You can scroll down it to system and then go over to backup and restore and then simply restore your PS5. Select the PS5 It's PLK backup here and select the option to restore. In my case, I'm not going to restore this backup because I haven't made a backup of my own system first and I already have the modified save file installed for the Lua exploit, so there's no need for me to restore the backup. But in your case, if you don't have the modified save files on there, you would restore that backup and then install your Japanese game that you can use to load the exploit. And then with the USB drive plugged in that has the KStuff on there, all we have to do is load up the game and it should run the modified save. So we'll just give this a few seconds. So there we go. Looks like exploit was successful and there it is, PS5 KStuff successfully loaded. So there it is, KStuff is now loaded on my console. And I suppose just to see if that works, we can run PT, which is obviously a fake package version of PT to see if our fake packages are working. Okay, and just like that, we have a fake package game, a PS4 fake package game running on this 9.60 console. So we do have KStuff successfully working here. Okay, so now let's try ETA Hen. So with ETA Hen, we can plug our USB drive back into our computer. And then if we go back into the PS5 Lua Loader folder, I'll take the latest public beta test of ETA Hen, the ELF file, and copy it into that folder. And then I'm just going to rename it and copy the name of the file, open up the autoload.txt file and replace the kstuff.elf with the ETA hen elf file instead and save it. And then that's all good. Now I'll also create a folder here in my USB drive called ETA hen. And then inside that folder, I'll create another folder called games. And then I'll copy a PS5 game to load. 
we'll try Black Myth Wukong, which is PPSA 23226. So I've got all of the extracted game files here in this folder, and I'm going to extract that here into the games folder on my USB drive. And we can see if we can get this working because Black Myth Wukong only supports firmwares 9.x and 10.x. So since I've updated to 9.60, we should be able to get this game running. So we'll give this a try. So there we go. We've now got the game copied over. So once we have the game copied over, we can simply unplug that USB drive and plug it back into our PS5. So once we're back on the PS5, we're just going to load up our Lua game again. And this time it should load ETA Hen from the USB drive if it is successful at loading the exploit, which it is here. We can see it's loading K stuff, which is built into ETA Hen. And then we have ETA Hen running. Also pretty impressive how quickly that loaded, considering the toolbox normally takes quite a while to launch normally. But that was a lot faster and we have our ETA hen settings if I go into the system settings and console information you can see we're on 9.60 with ETA hen public beta test so that is the version we have installed right now so let's go ahead and give this a try if I go into debug settings and scroll down to the PS5 webman games section we have black myth wukong showing up here the one that's on my USB so we'll go ahead and give this a try now because this game is so huge it was like 140 gigabytes that when I go to launch it here, it looks like it's frozen the PS5, but I think it's just because there's so many files, it just took a little little while there to actually launch. But as you can see, it is now launching the game. It also gets stuck in a black screen for a while because, again, I guess it has a lot of files to initialize here with this game because it's so huge. Just to show that it is fully loaded, that we have a native PS5 game backup running on 9.xx and 10.0, 10.01 firmwares. You can see we have the game running and this game will not load on older firmwares at the moment. So there's not currently a backport available for it, although that might come in at some point in the future for older firmwares. But at the moment, this is just for 9.xx and 10.xx firmwares, and we have got it up and running on our PS5. I'm also just quickly going to head into the settings again, go back into my ETA Hen toolbox, and I'm gonna head into the controller shortcut section and just add a controller shortcut to toggle K stuff. And I'll just set that as a single tap of the share button so that when I go back into the game, I can press the share button and disable K stuff, which will allow a little bit more performance in the game. So I'll also just go ahead and do that real quick. So there you go, guys. That's basically an early setup guide for how you can get up and running on 9.xx and eventually 10.0 and 10.01 firmwares with the jailbreak. Obviously, I'll have a more detailed beginner's guide that I'll release once everything is available, once we have a full public release of ETA Hen supporting up to 10.01 and obviously K stuff supporting all the way up to 10.01. I'll have a more beginner friendly guide available. This is just more of a quick setup guide for those who want to get set up with the jailbreak on uh, 9.xx and 10.0 and 10.01 with K stuff and ETA Hen with the public beta. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, as always, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.